Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to Diablo 2 Resurrected. This is the full release of Diablo 2 Resurrected. I played a little bit during the beta, and I rather enjoyed myself. So we are going to be checking out the full release starting today. And we're going to be going on a Necromancer. I don't know anything about the Necromancer, haven't watched any videos, didn't get to play it during the beta because it wasn't a class that was originally available. But that's what we're going to be checking out today. We are going to be letting all the cutscenes roll and listening to all the character dialogue and trying to get as immersed as possible into the story and lore of Diablo. So I hope you guys are into that kind of thing. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. I am going to let the intro cinematic play right after this. It is a little bit of a lengthy cinematic and if you've seen it before, you can go ahead and skip ahead a few minutes if you're interested in getting right into the gameplay. That being said, here we go. So, Marius, at last I find you. Terio, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you, you. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Tyrio, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes, it was... It was the Wanderer. My days in the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts. High in the mountains, past the Eastern Gate. of the monastery and the evil which it claimed dreams, memories I couldn't tell the difference anymore had the evil from my dreams followed me at my heels how had he found me here? How could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? Yeah. Thank you. 
He seemed to... to have demons of his own. He struggled to contain. <laughs> He was losing. As I watched, I became convinced. And I was truly mad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream or were they born within the wonder? Why did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. From that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. Greeting, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the Wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lutka Lane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive, then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Alright, I am going to adjust a couple of the sound settings here really quick. I want the dialogue to be just a little bit louder than it is. So let's go ahead and turn the voices all the way up. I'm also trying to leave the music up because the music is rather good. And some of the other effects and stuff I've turned down a little bit, so you guys let me know about the audio settings and if we need to adjust anything to make it a better experience, I will be happy to go ahead and do that. Good day. Alright, let's speak to Akara here. I am Akara. High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp. 
But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the Great Eye watch over you. All right, so we're going to be looking for a cave nearby full of dark beasts. Look for the den in the wilderness outside of the rogue's encampment. So we have our basic normal attack, and then we also have raise a skeleton. Cast on the corpse of a slain monster. This raises a skeleton warrior that fights for you. All right, sounds good. Let's head right out and get into things here. Entering the Blood Moor. All who oppose me, beware. Alright, so that's what we sound like. Oh, we can oh, okay. We can raise one skeleton right now at a time. It looks like, and I don't know if there's a time limit on how long it stays with us, or if it's just gonna stay with us and attack stuff until it dies. I don't see any kind of timer or anything like that. It does seem to have quite a mind of its own. It ran off in a random direction there for a second. That's interesting pet behavior. Not even really sure what kinds of items we can equip, uh, but I guess we will find that out as we go. Alright, we've got new stats and new skills to learn. We'll wait till we clear these guys out, and then we'll do that. Uh, stats, I have no idea what our priority is here. We're probably going to be heavily mana-based as a necromancer, so I'm going to put a couple of points into energy and a couple of points into vitality for now. And then for skills, we have a few different trees. Summoning, Poison and Bone, and Curses. Amplify Damage. Curses a group of enemies increasing the non-magic damage they receive. And then in the Poison and Bone tree, we have Teeth. Fires a barrage of summoned barbed teeth. 
or bone armor creates an orbiting shield of bone that absorbs melee damage. Or we could go into summoning, and we could put a point into skeleton mastery, increases the life and damage of raised skeletons and revived creatures. Okay, let's let's go into that. Oh, we can't. We have to. What are the requirements here? Required level one. We'll put another point into our basic raise skeleton ability here. I like that our skeleton kind of goes in before us and starts fighting stuff without our input. Alright, since we put that second point in it, it looks like we can now have two skeletons out at a time. Turn back. I can tell that you need more experience to fight safely in the next world. Halt. You should complete Akara's quest before venturing further. Search for- Alright, understood. We're not a high enough level yet. I wonder if it's worth it to put a few points into strength. This is going to affect the damage dealt uh, by Ray's skeleton, it looks like. Put a couple points there. And a couple more points in vitality and energy. We also have another skill point. And I'm kind of wondering if we should just continue in the summoning tree for now. We could grab another ability. Uh, but I feel like for now the skeletons are doing a lot of work for us, so we might as well keep on with that. Eventually I do want to grab at least this uh, teeth spell. I want to see what that's like. Let's just grab this now so we can experiment with it. I'm actually going to change this keybind. There we go. All right. I don't really see how that's a wall of teeth, but it is a spell that shoots out from us and does damage.
Looks like the cave may be over this way. Yes, the den of evil. I sense death within this place. Kill all the monsters in the den. Skeletons, I would really rather you kind of follow us. Now these casters back here are going to be rezzing their little fallen buddies if we don't uh, focus them. So we have to watch out for anybody with a flag. Oh, big guy. Let our, man our health regen here so we don't get killed. Uh, we also need to resummon our skeletons. It looks like they were crushed. Uh, we are overburdened. That's not great. We'll have to take a look at that in a second here. Yeah, there's really not a lot we can do. We could drop some things here. And see if maybe there's something better we can pick up. Let's grab the leather armor. I and can't use this yet. No, we, we can't use it. It's not identified, but we can go ahead and fix that with a scroll of identification. There we go. That'll open up some space in our inventory. Uh, we'll grab our new stats here. I feel like health is going to be important for us. We do seem to be taking quite a few hits. And we'll go into Skeleton Mastery for our next skill here. Let's get back here and get the casters so they don't keep rezzing everyone we defeat. And we'll pop a potion.
four monsters remaining. Okay, I didn't know it was going to update the quest log quite like that. That's interesting. Like letting us know when we're getting close to completion. And these must be our last four. And there are the rays of light. That was actually incredibly Is that easy. enough to earn the rogue's trust? We do need to get back to town and sell everything. Let's go ahead and do that. We can't carry anymore, so... Don't really want to be out farming enemies when we have a full inventory. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Undario. I can't do that here. Greetings. I'm assuming that we're not going to be using bows. We do need to identify these things. We don't have any more scrolls of identification right now, but we will be able to get more in a second. So we're going to hold on to that stuff. A necromancer. I hoped I'd never have to lay my eyes on one of your kind again. Recent troubles in this area have brought out all kinds, I see. Nevertheless, your money's good. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Wow, a whole two days. That's amazing. I mean, in this world, you're likely not to live that long, but... Uh, let's see, how much is this? We don't quite have enough. You have cleansed the den of evil. We have. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. I wouldn't go that far. The reward is training in the skill of your choice. Uh, okay, let's see. We could go into curses. I feel like it's probably a good idea to grab the bone armor. We do seem to take quite a few hits. Our pets don't really tank for us. They kind of just run around and do their own thing. So I'm going to grab that. And we'll go ahead and we'll bind that to F3. There we go. And then I believe she sells scrolls of identification. And we should be able to keep them in a tome if we have one. Oh, we don't have enough gold for that. Amazing. Okay. I can't use this yet. Oh, we, we need 25 strength to use that. Okay. Let's equip the sash. As well as the sturdy cap. And then we could sell the, the stuff we just took off.
And then I guess we're looking for our next quest. Do we want to store anything in the, in the stash? Uh, it might be a good idea. Let's put this here for now, since we don't have the strength to use it, but we likely will very soon. Oh, looks like Kashia here has a quest. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. I mean, we restored the other lady's faith in humanity. An this girl is not impressed, graveyard. though. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Alright, fair enough. Now I'm pretty sure we need to head to where the road guard told us that we weren't a high enough level to proceed, which I believe was down here to the west. Beware, the evil is strong ahead. Take care, the corrupted rogues in the wilderness ahead are not to be trifled with. Okay, fair. Entering the cold plains. Uh, I'm not sure if that's where we, yeah, the, okay, let's see. Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the cold plains, okay. All right, we have our bone shield going. Seeing a lot of rare enemies out, which I don't remember as much from the beta. It didn't seem like there were as many strong enemies when we played the beta, so that's a good change. I can't carry anymore. Can't carry any more already. That is a darn shame. I want to get our strength up so we can actually equip some strength-based items. That would be great.
All right, we are now up to three skeletons. I'd like to find the teleporter for the cold plains so that we could get back to town and sell everything. That being said, we could just lay down a town portal if we really wanted to. Maybe we do that after we take these guys out. Not enough mana. I say after we take these guys out, as if there's ever going to be an end to the enemies. I can't carry anymore. Uh, yeah, we really can't carry anymore. That's true. Let's deal, my friend. Uh, let's put these in here for now. And we'll go right back through the portal. Looks like we can equip the short staff, so we'll do that. And we're entering Too the burial grounds. Graves. From what I remember, this enemy here was pretty tough, at least on the paladin it was, and on the druid it was a little bit easier. I need mana. We do need mana, that is true. My army will destroy you. Uh, we seem to be missing with all of our blast here. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to get some distance and regen our health while we try to figure out why our ranged attack is not working. And we'll re-equip Bone Shield. Ah. 
really wish our skeletons would attack the enemy that we're attacking. That would be absolutely amazing right about now. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Whoops. That was definitely not what we wanted to do. She's really difficult to even hit. Uh, that being said, she's not really, doesn't look too keen on like hunting us down. My army will destroy you. Yeah, I'm really just not understanding if it's just a chance to hit and we're missing, or what exactly is the deal here. Because yeah, we don't really seem able to hit her most of the time. Uh, which as you can imagine is quite detrimental, you know, to defeating her. And we are basically almost out of potions here. Alright, standing back is working a little better just because we're not getting hit quite as much. Oh, well, we died. <laughs> uh, so she's about as hard as she was on the Paladin. It was pretty close, but maybe we need to gain a couple more levels before we try that again. There were a couple of crypts that we can go explore over there, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, we are going to have to try to run back and get some of our items and gold back, but I think this is going to be a good place to take a little bit of a break. And the next time we will run back and see about collecting our lost items and see if maybe we can gain a level or two and then take her out next time. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back really soon. Bye now.